Okay, everybody. Well, I've been asked by several subscribers to uh, upload a no new video, and I apologize for, for not getting back to you guys sooner. Um, it has been uh, four or five years now since I smoked. Um, Chantix works, but realistically, you've, you've got to have it in your mind that you don't want to smoke anymore. Um, you know, my, my reason was my children, uh, they're older now, they're, uh, you know, in their twenties. Um, I actually used them as my motivation to quit smoking. Um, but that's something that you have to do. Um, I have several, uh, people asking about strange dreams. Uh, do you sleep at night? Um, appetite, etc. Um, yeah, I did experience that. I did have a couple of weird, um, like dragon dreams, I guess you could say. Um, but for the most part, it worked. Um, over the last several years, yeah, I've had some setbacks and I've had a cigarette or two here and there, but, um, immediately put them out. They don't taste good anymore. I don't enjoy them. Uh, I've even gotten to the point recently where I don't even enjoy the smell of them. So uh, another uh, another question here, <laughs> does it help you with weed? Uh, that I don't know. Uh, I don't do marijuana or any other type of narcotics, so I don't know. I will say that it, Chantix is designed to help you give up the urge for nicotine. Uh, what it would do as far as THC or anything like that, I'm not 100% sure. Um, yes, it does. The next question, yes, it does uh, change kind of your appetite. Um, I did have a little bit of nausea, um, probably week three, three or four. Um, but that seemed to subside pretty quick. Um, I found find like finger foods, celery with peanut butter works, uh, the little baby carrots work. Um, you know, I've heard of people using Chantix and cinnamon toothpicks. So you kind of have to find something to replace that habit of ha hand to mouth. Another thing that worked for me is I continued to do the whole thing with Chantix. That, that very first week, you know, the package says that you're allowed to smoke. But I made smoking um, kind of inconvenient, I guess I should say. So I didn't smoke in the car. Uh, my work vehicle, I didn't smoke in that. Um, I, I made it all those places that were like sitting in traffic and lighting up a cigarette. I made the rules that I wasn't allowed to do that. So if I wanted to smoke on my drive home, which is about an hour, um, I made it a point that I had to actually get off the freeway, pull over have my cigarette, get back in the car, get back on the road. Um, and that does help because you, you have to change those habits. You know, as a smoker, you have those little things that, that trigger you to smoke. Driving is a perfect one. A lot of truck drivers out there, myself included, um, you know, you smoke in the truck cause you can't, you can't talk to anybody. It's three in the morning. Who are you going to call? You know, mom's asleep and the kids are asleep and all my friends are asleep. So, Basically, what I did is I tried to find ways of changing that habit. So uh, when I did get a craving for a cigarette, and I'm not going to lie, some of those cravings are very, 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 very strong, and they're hard to get through, but you can do it. Um, I would get out celery and peanut butter. Um, sometimes just getting out of your vehicle or going for a walk. Um, take a break from your desk if your employer will allow you. Go outside for a bit. Take a little five-minute breather in the fresh air. Come back and, you know, do some work. Um, my biggest thing when I was... I'm, I'm more of a social smoker. I smoked a lot at home. But I got into... Uh, <laughs> I know, I'm in my 40s. You wouldn't think this would happen. But I got into playing video games with my kids. And that really seemed to take my mind off of I haven't smoked all day. So you just have to find those little things you can do to get your mind off of the fact that you're not taking the nicotine. Um, back to my original video, um, I have tried patches, I've tried the gum, I did acupuncture in my ear, 
uh, I did hypnosis. Um, I tried the cold turkey. I tried not buying any cigarettes and just bumming them off my friends if they had one. I did all those things. But until you get it in your head that you want to quit for you, it's never going to work. So um, just kind of wanted to update everybody, let everybody know, you know, how I've been doing. I've been getting a lot of requests to, to post some follow up videos. And again, it's it's been a with COVID, it's been a crazy, hectic year of, um, you know, trying to stay busy at work and, and get those things done, trying to stay healthy, protecting myself and my family. So I hope everybody is well. I thank you, all of you, for those that have been following me. So I will post another video here shortly. Thank you very much, guys. Good luck to you, and uh, you can do this.